where we're at right now is we've taken our first look at some of the, the shoots, as, as I've pointed out before, like these two twos suggest there's a two there. And you make some progress in the twos and the sevens this way because it turns out there are many twos and sevens when you start. And you get to a point like this, and here I've put in most of the information that you can get by looking at shoots of numbers. And this is where, at least in the solving video, you see I'm paused for about 30 seconds to a minute. And oftentimes, this is the kind of case in a puzzle where there's really seemingly only one way forward. And you just need to find the right spot to, to make that progress. And, and here, what you're going to need to do is, at some points, you're going to need to just look through particular digits or look through particular places. There are areas where I think I can make progress, like this row has only a little bit left. And so I look across, and I see that there's a 1 that can go in one of two places, but that doesn't do much for me. Uh, looking across this middle box, there's, it's very unlikely that you're going to have progress in here because there's just nothing there. And what's key to, to notice is up here, if we look at this 6 coming up and the 6 coming across, in this box, uh, we've effectively blocked out these four places from containing the digit 6. And so a 6 has to be in the top row. And what that forces is a 6 right here. And, and once I get the 6 in the video, uh, the rest of the solving comes real fast. What you'll see that happens as a result of this digit is you get a digit here, which gives you a digit here, which gives you a digit here. And then if you look at the specific numbers that you're, you're putting in, it's also going to give you uh, some access into some of these other boxes to make progress as well. So for example, if I just look at this puzzle, as we're at now, uh, we've placed a digit in this box. You may want to re-examine here. We placed a digit over here. What we're really looking for, we have a 148 here. We're looking for something that's going to put progress into this position or over here. And here, again, we're going to see another case where we can force a particular steering of digits by looking across and up. And so this is something you're going to have to get used to doing, which is combining the information you're getting from both sides. It, the, the simplest cues are ones such as at the start, where there are two sevens and one, one grouping, and you're just using them to look forward. But here, we're going to actually be coming across and coming down and using two uh, digits in that way. And it's, it's a little trickier, but you're going to have to get used to it. And what's, what's really critical at this point is actually this nine and this nine. And if they steer over to this box down here in this bottom row, then you can force a 9 right here. And again, this is the second digit, which once you place gives you a lot of other ones. It gives you this 2, which gives you the remaining 2s in that little segment. It gives you this 9, which comes up. This 9 comes up and gives you a 9, 6. And from there, I'm, I'm probably just writing digits in the, in the video. And so the lesson for this time is that we, we've learned how to just focus in a single area and look for particular digits, but now you need to, to start scanning uh, in multiple directions at one time. And oftentimes it's just, you'll, you'll want to focus on one digit at least quickly and get a sense of where you can make progress.